I think that if you work for a company that's building products that you believe in, you should be definitely proud to be the face A lot of people ask what I do in tech, and I think this is a great opportunity to share the importance and value of medical affairs in any health tech company. Traditionally, medical affairs was formed as an important function of pharmaceutical companies because they used to be the big key players in healthcare. However, as there has been this health tech boom, where companies are being founded by non-MDs and non-clinicians, there is an absolute need for a medical affairs function in these companies to ensure clinical and medical insights are recognized and being incorporated into the business strategy. In this video, I will share the purpose and the key responsibilities of the role of medical affairs in the company. So if you're a doctor looking for a way or avenue to get into health tech, I think the medical affairs team and function is a great department to play a very important role in. The purpose of medical affairs is to educate, communicate, and engage with clinicians in the healthcare community who will be the ones adopting the technology that the company is producing. I think this role is ideally suited for clinicians who love teaching, developing, and creating content, making sense of data, and also building relationships. What is the value of medical affairs for companies? Medical affairs is critical to the commercial success of any health product. Do you want to know what makes medical affairs so special? Medical affairs can talk about off-label use cases, unlike the sales or marketing team. They can speak on the vision and the future potential of the products and services that the company offers. They play an integrative role across the business for non-promotion science-based discussions. Medical Affairs gets to collaborate with every team across the company as they are the non-promotional bridge between the company and external customers and for insights and evidence generation strategy between teams in the company. The Medical Affairs role and responsibilities fall under two pillars. One falls under the internal functions and the other is the external functions. I'll break down the different ways in which Medical Affairs collaborates with each team within the company. First, let's start with marketing. One of my favorites. Medical Affairs reviews and approves all promotional content to ensure that things are being communicated in the proper clinical context. And on top of that, they also get to create a lot of the scientific and medical marketing material. And Medical Affairs are the best people to do this because they can write content that is clinically relevant and can target the needs and interests of key leaders within the healthcare community. Medical Affairs also works very closely with the research team. They provide medical and scientific input to develop strategically meaningful and testable research hypotheses and interpret the research outputs in a medically and scientifically robust way. They support generation of real-world data that clinicians value and also lead on publishing that real-world data. Another thing they do to support research is they bring in grant funding. There are a lot of grant opportunities that will bring in funding to support research objectives. Research, as you know, costs a lot of money and a lot of time and resources, and the company can't put all of their money into research. So to have other funding come in specifically for this research is very helpful to the business objectives. The medical affairs team also works very closely with the product team. And this makes sense as the company is developing products for healthcare professionals. Medical affairs collates insights from healthcare professionals and helps drive strategy for product development. This is essential that medical affairs is a core part of the product development process to help make products with the correct product market fit that truly solve problems in healthcare. The medical affairs function also works very closely with regulatory. And regulatory is something I didn't have experience with until I joined health tech. There are governing bodies across the whole world who help regulate what goes out onto the market to protect consumers and to protect patients. 
And so medical affairs works very closely with regulatory in order to submit to these governing bodies the safety and the performance of our products. With any customer question, comment, or request that the customer experience team or customer success team can't answer for their customers, they usually ask the medical affairs team. So the medical affairs team also supports customer experience and customer success in ensuring that they answer all relevant clinical questions and empower them to be able to use our technology in the best way possible in their clinical setting. So that covers the internal functions of medical affairs. And I really think there's a lot more, but those are the main ones. And depending on what company you work for and how the org structure is, there could be different functions as well, or some of these functions may not exist. So internally, there are obviously a lot of roles and responsibilities for medical affairs. But the real specialty of medical affairs is its external function and its external role and responsibilities. Medical affairs is the medical face of the company. I think that if you work for a company that's building products that you believe in, you should be definitely proud to be the face but if you don't want to be the face of the company, there are different ways of doing this. Medical affairs are key players in the scientific communication and exchange of expert information on company products and services. They communicate the value and clinical differentiation of the company's solutions to educate both physicians and payers with relevant data. So that's why it's so important to incorporate healthcare experts hired into medical affairs roles at a company that focuses on healthcare products or services. Generally, healthcare professionals are disinterested by product-focused and promotional information. And this is something that we need to consider. They're more interested in balanced scientific information and knowledge shared directly by peers and experts. This is the trusted information. There are a variety of ways in which medical affairs does this, and I do this within my team. You need to meet the healthcare community where they are where they're meeting, where they're sharing information in a safe and trusted environment. Some great ways to do this is going to conferences, scientific meetings, educational sessions, because in every healthcare professional's career, they are constantly learning, engaging, researching as part of their professional development. And the healthcare and medical landscape is constantly changing. New research is being developed. New ways of caring for the patient are being developed to improve patient care. So this is just a must for any healthcare professional. So meeting them where they are, where they need to be, and where they want to be is the best way to engage with them in a meaningful way. And this can also be done virtually as well, these sessions, but I always find it much more compelling, much more insightful to be in person. And as you know, relationships are better built in person. At conferences, medical affairs can present abstracts, posters, presentations on the research they've done internally or elevate some of their partners who are doing their own research and also learning from the healthcare community what's new out there, what is needed, and find ways in which we can collaborate with others and bring those insights back to the company. Medical Affairs is also responsible for recruiting and managing the scientific and clinical advisory board, key opinion leaders, and potential research sites, investigators, and partners, which is why it's so important to be able to cultivate those strong relationships within the healthcare community, which you already have if you are a healthcare professional. So there is some insight to the medical affairs function at health tech companies and why I think it's so fitting for healthcare professionals to play this role within the company. So if you're a doctor, nurse, physician assistant, healthcare professional with a scientific background, definitely explore the medical affairs function. Reach out to the medical affairs lead within these companies and ask them how you can help. Is there an open role for you if this is what you're considering? These companies need healthcare professionals with a medical background not only to help them gain clinical adoption of their technology, but also help the company develop products and solutions to be a reputable, 
credible and trusted resource for the healthcare community. I hope this was helpful. If it is, and if you want more content like this, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. You can contact me on my Instagram at DrLeeMD. Hope you are all staying safe and doing well, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you, everyone. Bye, till next time.